Hello everybody and welcome back. It's Keeper MC and we continue exploration of the caves on 2B2T, the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft. In the previous episode I went down the caves uh, and already managed to gather some resources, but this cave is just never ending so I'm doing it off camera, except the moments which are potentially something interesting to be shown off, let's say. And uh, currently I encountered quite interesting, uh, let's say, cave. So I noticed that it's most probably something I haven't yet uh, discovered. And of course I went down, taking some fall damage, and as instantly towered myself up approximately this way to see what's in there. And uh, what is that I see? Well, of course, the first thing coming to our minds is the spawner probably and uh, also by that time when I was firstly appearing right here there was also a baby zombie and a creeper but I really hope they went <coughs> away or I don't know despawned because I don't really want to see any of them in here but we already see that there's like a lot of interesting resources for us so I think we could try to secure the dungeon first. Yep, it's still there. That's... <coughs> that's okay. Well, that's a zombie spawner. Nothing much of an interest. Oh no, not you. You got something for me. What is that? Shower. It's nice. So they're still too dark, so they spawn, right? <coughs> okay, let's just put some extra torches. And I think I see what I don't want it to see. Right? Mr. Alright. So this time, by some reason, they all stayed here. I see another one. So, should be good enough for the moment, uh, in terms of not spawning <laughs> any zombies. Uh, I'll save the coordinates of this spawner for myself, just in case if I will need uh, the spawner, but I will not manage to find any others. Okay. Well, for now I think we would not stay here, however we could actually try to farm some um, experience, but I think it is also okay if we want. Because for now we don't need that, we still do not have any uh, necessarily resources for us to start enhancing things, so that's okay. Alright, and I think we need also to light this place up so that zombies won't spawn in that corner. What do we have here? Some more vertices? No thank you, Margaret. Yeah... Okay, one moment. Um, should we try 
here to go by this lava lake. Maybe there are some diamonds, who knows. So, let's try. actually really good because the less good things we'll find the easier it will be for us to carry them things out because I already have lots of stuff and I should probably start thinking less about getting that much iron coal and stuff because of course for now we are not having a home settled well, in a sense of a base and stuff. So, it might be that we actually don't need that much just to travel. So, I think this could be like one of the last caves. Uh, except the one which we'll definitely try to find when we'll settle down the first home. Uh, to get those enchanted items, as I mentioned previously. So, yeah. Well, redstone, no, I don't think we need that. I mean, it's good to get some experience, but I don't think we will have a space to carry it on with, us, with ourselves. So, let's just keep moving. It's also interesting to see the gold ore, and then that there is a water on top of it somewhere. So, probably another... Another cave, right? As always. Okay, bring it. Yep. Um, hmm. Oh. Aha. Well, it means at last that now we have at last 10 times more <coughs> caves to explore, even if not more. Amazing. Well... Let's see. I mean, having stuff is always better than not having stuff, so hard to complain, but it's also hard to carry it on. shoot hmm not sure I think the trickiest part again will be uh, me trying to find a way out because of course well I tried to pay attention to where I am at but still yeah of course it will eventually become a problem so let's maybe try to shut up this water because it's just too loud otherwise. Of course. It's 
not just a source, it's just another cave. Nice. And as you can hear, also full of monsters, right? Of course, it is. Bingo. Good shot. Good shot. second I thought he had a golden arrow. I was like, what? Okay, but anyways, let's try to stop the water from floating again. And yeah, I'll do my best off camera to explore everything in these caves. Most probably I will stop like getting iron, the coal and all the other stuff. Just focusing on the lapis. If it was called like that, not sure. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Give me more mobs. Right. It's exactly what I need now. Yeah, as I said. Yeah, focusing on diamonds, lapis, and maybe some other good stuff, but not the regular things. So yeah, again, I'm pausing the record and trying my best to explore and find them good things in here. I'll see you back soon. Yeah, so without any further actions I went back through the whole cave uh, back to my chest and I want to see what can I do in order to make it fit in my inventory so of course it will inv involve some uh, smelting because we still have some ore to be smelted and also probably yeah, I will try to craft an anvil to see if there is anything I can do about those items to merge them with them good options and stuff because yeah further exploration will of course generate much more resources in our pockets and it doesn't seem to be a good idea because we are still not far enough from spawn and at the same time we already have too many things so yeah let's see what we can do all right first of all i think we have to craft an anvil uh, <coughs> Is it one block necessarily? Um, three blocks, okay. So, three blocks. And here we go. Hopefully it will help us. So if we are putting these two on breaking three, power four, punch one. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if we are switching places, right? 12, 10, unbreaking 3, power 4. Okay, I have no idea. In any case, let's make it and let's see if we can actually repair it in that way. 17, 3. Okay, I'll take it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Two. Great, I can just do it in my hands for free, like... Boom. 
Okay, so we have a cool bow. So hopefully it will help us in our advent. Whoops. <laughs> in our adventures, but yeah. What's about the food? Well, let's consume this. <coughs> Why not? As one popular meme is saying, food is food. progress in all kinds. Okay, let's try to make the blocks out of it. Alright, good. Then we have lots of sand. Some gunpowder, more sand. other things are not that much. So yeah, because I think it would not be a bad idea to settle down somewhere and then of course make the chests, reorganize stuff and start working on gathering those resources. But for now we are too close. I mean we are probably 25k away but it's still nothing. And uh, unfortunately these mine shafts or mine caves or how they are called they actually are not that big, because I was actually looking forward to discover and investigate them. Uh, not, not not, the regular case, because those regular cases they just never end. My pockets are too tight to handle all of those uh, goods we can acquire. So, instead, yeah, I think we will just leave this place. In any case, I have some... I have, like, a screenshots with the coordinates. So, I'll still make it when I will think that it's the right time for it, but for now we will just leave. Because of course I don't want to end up in a situation where I actually need to decide what to keep. So let's just try to take everything and escape. Chest with a chest. Not bad. Um. Can we just eat this? Let's do some jumps to generate the hunger. What else do we have? The gravel, some cobblestone. Well, this is something we can definitely take. Uh, <coughs> we actually totally can leave this, and as I mentioned actually maybe furnaces, because if we will decide to come back, then we will for sure have them ready. So that's cool. Okay. Chests, cobblestone and gravel, that's fine. Ink sacks, I don't know, we might need them actually, but not sure how soon. So yeah, let's try to generate some hunger, eat this rotten flesh, take the ink sacks and then go. And in case if you wonder why I'm just doing so weird things and not just dropping or like uh, putting something in a chest, well I usually try to play without um, uh, without creating a mess. So I don't really like when uh, players are leaving the huge trails behind them by dropping away some goods, by, 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 I don't know, like leaving some blocks uh, around. They don't actually need to leave like placed cobblestone, netherrack especially, and like lots of other things. So I don't like it personally. So I think it's better to play clean. And of course I try to follow this rule. For now we are leaving this bed here because uh, I hope there will be <clears throat> well, not that I hope there will be, but I uh, actually hope that we won't need that bed uh, anymore. But of course, if we will get killed or suddenly will die, uh, it would be a good point to respawn because at last it's 20k away from the uh, from 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 the <clears throat> from the spawn. And I think it would not be a bad idea actually to put some food in the chests because 
again in case if we will be supposed to restart with nothing in our hands then it would not be a bad idea to have something ready for us so let's leave some of some good things and yeah I think it's it's a right time to move and uh, thanks again for watching well it could be that these uh, these mines were not so exciting as uh, we all were thinking they would be but in any case I'm pretty sure we'll find out some some better mines with some better resources and of course hopefully by that time we will also have some more let's say <laughs> space for them resources or at last we will be able to put them on in a chest without being afraid that somebody will steal it because we are too close to spawn in any case thanks again for watching and i'm looking forward to see you in the next episode goodbye everyone